Lebanon is collapsing. The scale of the crisis for ordinary Lebanese people is evident everywhere you look. It is out of petrol, internet, electricity, food, medicine. The coming 2022 elections, however, provide a glimmer of hope in providing some stability. But the current government, in a bid to hold on to power, has been making excuses to delay elections. Excuses such as the lack of paper and ink to conduct elections. So to defend democracy, Al-Nahar, the newspaper of the people, decided to publish the country's much-awaited 2022 elections edition by not printing it. Instead, Al-Nahar donated the paper and ink from the unprinted edition to print voting ballots. Found at every newspaper distributor in Lebanon on February 2nd was an empty news rack with a message explaining our cause and a link to an online edition. Trucks delivered that day's entire supply of paper and ink to the government's printing associate. The non-existent issue went viral. We had sparked a movement which people joined to ensure that elections happen. Press, private, and recycling companies also supported the movements. We will support this movement with all our resources. The elections have to happen on time. Even election candidates spoke up for the cause. And Nahar had revived hope amongst the Lebanese for true change to take place. And on May 15th, the elections took place as scheduled. For the first time, reformist newcomers and independent candidates broke into parliament winning 25% of the country's parliamentary seats, honoring Lebanon's democratic traditions. <laughs>